adults? They don't think the adults are doing enough? They may or may not be tough adults, but they feel like not enough being I'm done. I'm Gregory Mosley, martial art instructor. Bullying has become one of the toughest problems facing parents today. While listening to the Michael Basin radio show on 98.7 KISS FM, I heard a caller give a testimony on how she caught her daughter cutting her own body out of frustration from constantly getting bullied. After listening to this and other stories, I decided to produce an anti-bullying video. This is based on my 41 years of experience as a martial art teacher. I'm Mary Lou Willis. I'm a psychiatric social worker, specialty working with teenagers and younger children. It begins at home, not in the school. That child has never been bullied. It's because he stood up for his rights. Any child that's being bullied has to prove that he's strong enough to, and capable enough to handle it himself, handle the situation himself. And that should be taught at home. The child can handle a situation, any situation, within reasons, and especially bullying. Stand up for your rights. That's the key. Stand up for your rights. No more bullying! Now, when someone approaches you in the schoolyard and, look, and it looks like they're getting ready to hit you, what you want to do is step back and keep your body sideways. You notice the white is keeping to grab you by your wrist, try to pull you somewhere, you know, so they can beat you up, they can bully you. This technique is good against a single wrist grab. Notice what he does is he brings his arm up and he's going against the thumb. Whenever you go against a joint, like a thumb, the person loses their grip, you're able to get yourself loose so you can escape and get an uh, adult or just go to the nearest, safest location. Fire! Push. Anybody, uh, have you ever been bullied in school? Uh, not really. They don't bother you, you give them that mean face? That mean look really helps, right? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta give him that look, like, don't mess with me. Sometimes you look at a kid and he's, he looks like he wants to bully you. You think about all the things you can do to that kid while you're looking at it. He'll be